It's my fourth video on osteoarthritis and this is like the 39th video in my rheumatology playlist. Today we'll talk about the clinical picture of this degenerative joint disease. We have Heberden and Bouchard nodes on your DIP and PIP respectively. The most commonly affected joint in the hand in osteoarthritis is the first CMC joint or carpometacarpal. With that being said, now let's get started. Every week you can receive a case, enter an explanation in your email, go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis, follow me there, and it's totally free. Rheumatological diseases, monoarticular, oligo, or poly, osteoarthritis, usually mono, or oligo. Rheumatological disease could be non-inflammatory or inflammatory, osteoarthritis is non-inflammatory. Now granted, you might find some white blood cells in the joint when you aspire the joint, but this is not what's fueling the disease. We have talked about the difference between non-inflammatory arthritis and inflammatory arthritis before in this playlist, so watch my previous videos. Osteoarthritis, degenerative joint disease, non-inflammatory, biomechanical, a disease of the elderly. It's non-inflammatory, therefore no cardinal signs of inflammation, no constitutional symptoms, the joint pain worsens with use so at the end of the day the pain is the worst a asymmetric because it's mechanical no elevation of esr or crp or any other inflammatory marker osteoarthritis is the most common type of joint disease and since it's biomechanical it affects the weight bearing joints obesity is a risk factor trauma is a risk factor manual occupation is a risk factor it's chronic disease joint fluid and acid you will have white blood cells that are not normal but they are still less than 2000 they are less than inflammatory. Morning stiffness for less than 30 because it's not inflammatory. No synovitis because it's not inflammatory. The older you get, the riskier you become to get osteoarthritis. It starts linear, then it goes into exponential. In my second video about osteoarthritis, I had the two definitions, so I'm not going to repeat it again. Don't forget that osteoarthritis can be primary, which is idiopathic, and secondary, which is secondary to other stuff. You take control of that which you can control, called modifiable risk factors. The risk factors of osteoarthritis are non-modifiable or modifiable, so non-modifiable age, sex, heredity, modifiable obesity, occupational trauma, male alignment, big time, such as meniscal injury, quadriceps weakness, loss of proprioception. Epidemiology, more common in the elderly, more common in women. Is the osteo idiopathic or secondary? If it's primary osteo, the idiopathic, it's asymptomatic usually until the age of 50. However, if you see a young patient with osteoarthritis, it's probably secondary osteoarthritis. Please go search for the underlying disease. Could be trauma, inflammation, collagen disease, metabolic disorder, or endocrine disorder. Arthritis could be non-inflammatory or inflammatory. Non-inflammatory such as osteoarthritis, inflammatory such as rheumatoid arthritis. In osteoarthritis or any non-inflammatory arthritis, pain predominates. On the other hand, in inflammatory arthritis, stiffness predominates. This is 100% profound. Clinical picture of osteoarthritis. It's an oligoarthritis. Pain predominates because it's non-inflammatory. Describe the pain. Deep, achy, worse with use, better with rest, therefore it's worse in the evening. It ranges from being well localized to being poorly localized and even radiating. No cardinal signs of inflammation. No redness, hotness, swelling, pain, or loss of function. No synovitis. People say no justice, no peace. Doctors say, no inflammation, no synovitis. The joints involved are the DIP, the PIP, the first CMC. DIP, distal intraphalangeal joint. These are called Herberden nodes. And these are Bouchard in the proximal. And these are the first carpometacarpal. Cool. So osteoarthritis is more distal, DIP and PIP. You know rheumatoid arthritis? Rheumatoid arthritis is going to involve the wrist, and then it's going to involve the MCP and the PIP. So osteo is more distal, rheumatoid is more proximal. Osteo in the oasis and rheumatoid is proximal. Osteoarthritis affects the weight-bearing joint, hip, 
nay, lower lumbar, PIP and DIP. First, or the number one most commonly involved joint is the first CMC, carpal metacarpal of the thumb. Less likely, MCP, but it's more likely in rheumatoid, but this is a story of another video. Usually spares the wrist, unlike rheumatoid, the elbow, unlike rheumatoid, and the shoulder. Stiffness, sometimes you can have stiffness, yes, but since it's a non-inflammatory, pain pre predominates, not stiffness. When you have stiffness, ah, it's less than 30 minutes in the morning, and that's about it. You can have crepitus, locking, grinding, or grinding, decreased range of motion, instability, bony enlargement, remember, the osteophytes, radicular pain. What the flip is radicular pain? Here is your nice spinal cord. And here are the nerves coming out of the spinal cord. When you injure your nerve here in the periphery, this is called neuropathy. When you injure your nerve here at the root, when it exits the spinal cord, this is called radiculopathy. It's radicular pain here. Why? Because osteophytes in the vertebra can impinge on the spinal foramina causing nerve root compression, radiculopathy at the root. You'll end up with radicular pain, muscle spasm, and muscle atrophy. Why muscle atrophy? Because now the nerve supply to the muscle is severed. This deal is running out. Perfectionalis Ultimate Notebook plus 20 lymphoma cases plus 25 bleeding cases available on patreon.com forward slash medicosis for less than 5 bucks. Osteoarthritis can affect the cervical and the lumbar. Forget the thoracic or the coccygeal, or the sacral, sorry. So, in other words, osteoarthritis affects those who are convex anteriorly. Okay, I'm not explaining it, I'm just observing. All right, I have no idea why those. I have no, I have an idea about the lumbar because it's bearing the entire weight on it, but the cervical, Maybe because it's bearing the head and the head is heavy or because your skull is heavy because you're a genius. I have no clue. It affects the AC joint, the acromioclavicular joint. It's rare, but it can happen. Osteoarthritis can affect the first metatarsophalangeal joint, the bunion, and lead, leading to bunion deformity. And by the way, don't forget that gout can cause osteoarthritis. This is called secondary osteo. Osteoarthritis can lead to gout, and this is a very like big controversy between rheumatologists. Is it the chicken or the egg? Is it the gout or the osteoarthritis? Of course, osteoarthritis is going to affect your hip joint because it's a major weight-bearing joint. It affects the DIP, PIP, and the first CMC. On x-ray, it's very asymmetrical, and you have all of the abnormalities that we will discuss in the next video. If you are a visual learner and you love medical mnemonics, try Picmonic for medical, nursing, dental students. It's amazing. See the link in the description. They are not a sponsor of this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell to get notified. I have extra osteoarthritis notes for just a buck on patreon.com forward slash medicosis plus extra aspirin notes and extra rheumatoid arthritis notes. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we'll talk about the diagnosis of osteo. And as always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionals, where medicine makes perfect sense.